So what are we making? Today. Sorry, I got nervous. I thought the boogeyman was coming. Um, okay, cut. Well, I know, I know what you do. I know you love it raw. I know what you do. You might want to, you might need to cut that out. That was too raunchy. Um, <laughs> Where are we putting this? In your ass. I'll put it in the truck. <laughs> oh my god, um, the vulgarity. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Hot Girl Kitchen. I'm Melissa. And I'm Matt, your fave. And, as you know, like and subscribe or just don't even keep watching. It's kind of weird and rude. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to all of you subscribing right now. It's my occasion. Mm -hmm. And what are we drinking, Melissa? We're drinking our Aperol slushies, which obviously we're going to link below. Obviously, you've already seen it or you're going to watch it, or whatever it may be. Yeah, watch it next if you haven't. And if you have, watch it again. Watch it again. Yeah, because you know you want to. So what are we making? We are shucking oysters. <laughs> shucking, not f Okay, don't get it, don't get it twisted, girls. Don't be perverse. Like, this is PG-13 channel here. <laughs> um, so we're doing raw oysters on the half shell which you get at a lot of fine restaurants, and I know that all of you classy broads love your raw oysters. So, today we're gonna to show you how to do that from the comfort of your own home. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with the mignonette. I'm gonna show you the ingredients, very simple. So when you get oysters out, you got like a little mignonette, it's called. It's like basically a little, what would you, like a liquid experience. I don't know, it's not really a sauce. It's a mignonette. Yeah, that's what it is. That you just like is. put on the oyster to eat with. Um, and all you need is red wine vinegar, some lime juice, and a jalapeno. So this is what we're going to do last after we shuck the oysters. I just wanted to get it out of the way so that the fans were like, what is he doing with like this random sh How does this relate to shucking oysters? Well, you'll see. Could you put those aside, please? Sure. Thank you. So, what you'll need for the oyster shucking is a towel that you don't mind getting dirty. The oysters, obviously, you need to clean them a little bit, like rinse them off in the sink and make sure that you try to get all the sand and like soot off of them because they are from the wild, from the ocean. <laughs> so, that, you know, they come with some. What's the word Stop. I'm looking for? Some accessories on them. Some accessories. And you need a sharp very sharp, short, sharp knife. So this is actually an oyster knife. Since I'm a professional, I invested in oyster knives. It was this set me back a whole like $3. So if you can afford that, then Amazon has them. Well, actually, I don't know if I should recommend it yet because I haven't used it. We'll see. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your oyster and you'll see th there's like little crevices where you can easily stick the knife in, and that's where you're going to start. So, you kind of have to wrap up your hand to make sure that you aren't, like, puncturing yourself, because, like, that's not in style. And then you... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, my God, my brain cell is not working. You place the oyster <laughs> here, and you grab onto it, and you stick the knife in your little crevice. And I'll do an up-close shot of the crevice for the boys and girls at home to see. I know you're familiar with crevices. This is where we're going to um, wedge our knife in so that we can pop the oyster open. So you're going to start in here, and you kind of just wiggle it in. And as you do that, the oyster starts to open up a little more. So as you can see, I'm making a little bit of progress. It also helps to have some arm muscle, which is something that I lack. It's really not something that I possess. It's like, you know, a muscular body. So if any personal trainers want to sponsor me so I can, like, get a little toned up so I can shuck oysters at home, that would be perfect. So let me flip and so you can really see, like, how I'm rotating and... It's slowly getting more and more open, and look what we have here. Almost, apparently. Wow, I really thought that was about to be the big reveal. But 
I played myself. So now you kind of scrape around the edges with the knife so that it'll pop on open. Maybe. Oh my God, this is really being hellish. Devilish, sabotage, there we go. Oh, finally. Oh my. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a very large, high quality oyster. So now we're gonna move over to the sink and there's this like extra juice. We're gonna pour that out. And you wanna choose which shell looks the best. So like, I think this one on my, I guess this is on your right at home, is gonna be the more appropriate looking shell. So we're just gonna scoop the oyster out of the shell so that it's on one shell and ready to serve. Ready to slurp on down. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna have Melissa take try her hand at it. I'm just gonna find a good one. Oh yeah, I can feel it coming already. Oh my god, I'm feeling a little bit nudged. Oh, you're getting close. Maybe. You need to wiggle it more. Getting nervous. You need to go like. Yeah, I know what I like mean. Like you're trying the keys in the ignition for people that don't have push to start. Oh! Now that was a winner. And look at that. So now we're just gonna lose the sauce and. You mean the juice? The juice. And clean off our knife so that it's not like gross and just make, ooh. We almost had a catastrophe. This would have been a health code violation. <laughs> Part of the oyster shell down someone's throat, ooh, smells like an injury to me. Um, so we, we're just gonna cut around a little bit. That way Do it's wanna, easier to slurp. Yeah, don't we wanna cut that in the middle though? Like cut it in half? No, cut it like. Here girl, it's all you. Your creative reaction is where we're going right now. Yeah, that's what I was doing. It's gonna have to do. And now we have a fabulous dish filled with ice. We're going some line art oysters in. And I'm feeling a little spicy. How about you, girl? Mm -hmm. I think we should have some members of our live studio audience join us for an interactive tutorial. Mm -hmm. Jordan is like peeing her pants, so <laughs> I guess she is first. Okay. Oh, I'm left-handed. Melissa's well, okay. leaving, I guess. She's guys, gone. I'm gonna let you guys really put your... Wait, how do, I, how do I hold this? Someone didn't pay attention. Me? Like, oh, she's a, a, the wrong hand. I forgot. Oh, no, girl, not the thumb. My God, we don't want to call 911. Yes, you wrapped the thumb. Okay, thanks, girl. Okay, we are okay, not where's... calling 911 today. Uh-uh. Okay. Mm -mm. Girl, you know... So Jordan, this isn't really her really expertise. Close, the last then, time we did this, she would get really close and like almost have it done and be like, oh, I throw my hands up in disgust. I can't pass. I could never possibly do this. And I'd be like, Jordan, it's literally done. All you have to do is open it. You need to wiggle it more. Wiggle it. Yeah, I'll wiggle it. Wiggle it. So go ahead and wiggle it. Okay. There we go. That hurt sounded like something. I'm You're very close. Wiggle it. Oh, oh my god. Girl. Where's the medic? Help! Okay. You're cancelled. Next studio audience member, Tina's peeing her pants. Here, you can stay back here and watch. Oh, okay. So you can see. We'll switch hands for Tina. Okay. Wait, so I have to use Jordan's? Oh, girl. Not wrap the thumb. Okay. It's like... I'm talking to a wall as I'm giving these tutorials. <laughs> People are just, I guess, hanging out and not soaking in the information. There you go, maybe. Oh. Okay, <laughs> last but not least, Austin's going to give it a try. Now that it's loosened, it'll probably be very easy for her. Sorry. I'm ambidextrous. Like, what can I do? I mean... I've, I've never even eaten an oyster, so... No? Mm-mm. Ah, well, you're really having quite a few firsts. Not only are you eating your first oyster, you're, we're making you work for it. It's going to taste that much better. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. 
look at her. She's gross. Look at those arms. Go ahead. Okay. Thank God Austin's here because it would have taken these bimbos 90 minutes to open one waster. Hmm. Yeah. And that's what I feel like we are when we hang out at the Bimbo Summit. I need, like, collectively have help. Ah, okay. oh, she canceled cancel. that one. Throw the whole oyster away. Start again. Well, we're, I'll work on this later. Again. You have to have strong will, strong arms. Oh, my God. The live studio audience is sauntering away. Okay. Well, there, there she Back goes. Back to you, baby. Back to regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Guess what? We have gorgeous, freshly shocked oysters, and you know what's missing? The minion. So that's what we're going to whip up right now. It's very quick, very simple. Very quick. Um, you cut your lime, get some lime juice. Actually, do you want to use the juicer or no? Is it, the juicer's out of service right now. Yeah, I feel like it's fine if you just squeeze so it. So you're basically going to do like equal parts of lime juice and red wine um, vinegar. And this really gives you a good balance of um, like a, a citrus acidity as well as like a, how would you describe the flavor of red wine vinegar? Because I would say vinegar is pretty Vinegary. acidic. So it balances well with the oyster flavor. Yeah. And then the lime really adds the citrus flair. Then because this is hot girl kitchen with the emphasis on hot we are also going to add jalapenos so let me get my equal parts going there let me now get some finely minced chopped and diced jalapenos oh my god we have one rolling away a rogue pino Oh, it's not as fine as I had hoped. Not as fine as we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we'll work on it. Yeah, that's fine. Get it? Fine. Fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like us. There we go. I chopped it about three more times doing that. There we go. So I'm not, I don't want to overwhelm it with jalapeno. So, like, that's enough for now. So now Melissa is doling out some. I'll just give them to you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, honey. Some mignonette, and then we use our little cute um, oyster forks to just you know loosen up and make sure that it's right for the slurping. And now I'm going to wait for the rest of the crew here. If you've noticed, Austin is not in the frame right now because she so. is more of an Oysters Rockefeller fan, which is a grilled oyster. She's not into the texture, but she needs to get into it, if you ask me. <laughs> Time to grow up. Are we ready, girls? We sure are. Cheers, Cheers to Hot Girl Kitchen. And our first interactive episode with our live studio audience. We sell tickets, so let us know if you're interested in attending. Mm. Very good. Mm. Love the minion eye. Mm. Just enough spice. Ooh. It's perfect. That was really good. That's hot. That's sad. <laughs> That's not sad. It is not sad. And that, you know this what? is not upsetting me and my homegirl. You know what this is Maybe doing? I'm very happy. More than your fave. Yeah, because never. you know who could never? Your, your fave. fave. Period. Mm. In a million years. Ever. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, let us know if there's any new content you are looking for. We might listen. Um, but we you know, not. we're overwhelmed <laughs> by our millions of fans all <laughs> requesting things. So only request if it's like something we actually want to make. Real high girl shit.